Been called in as the white flag is raised, and that off. And the Guinness Galway hurdle handicap over two miles and nine flights and pushed on the lead as cash back. Relatively short run to the opening flight, followed by Merle and Jine, close up Amir Kabir on the outside of my mate Mozzie. All safely over the first flight as they turn to come down the hill. And it's cash back going on three lengths in front of Merle and Jine. Disputing third, Zadak the Brave, the four-year-old on the inside of Amir Kabir. And between those two is Ikara Len, the quartered cap. Gatsby Gray on the outside of my mate Mozzie. These are followed by Biala Stock and Jesse Evans on the inside, runner-up last year. Alongside is Filey Bay, red cap of the third reserve, Glan. Captain Conby next on the inside, Party Central, followed by dual winner of the race, Tudor City, as they come towards the second flight. And it's cash back over by length and a half to Maryland Giant, a mistake by Jesse Evans, two-thirds of the way down the field as they approach the bend for the third flight. And it's cash back the leader from Maryland Giant, Zadak the Brave third, disputing the fourth, Ikara Len on the inside of Amir Kabir. Gatsby Gray next with my mate Mozzie, Bialystok followed by Mighty Tom who's improved. In between horses, Filey Bay and then Glon and Captain Conby and Jesse Evans, the Capo Gloria and Brazil, Tudor City Party Central at the back of the field, Lucky Max and there's none behind Prairie Dancer, third 12 months ago, with the circuit to race, they're going towards the fourth flight just outside halfway. And building up a lead, the front running Cashback and Kian Callahan, but reeled in very quickly after that fourth flight by Mighty Tom, who goes up now to shade it at the halfway stage, Madeline Jane third. In fourth place is Zadak the Brave, then Ikara Len, Amir Kabir, they're getting spaced out. My mate Mozzie next with Gatsby Gray racing together. Filey Bay and Bialystok as they jump that flight just over seven furlongs from the finish. And it's Mighty Tom taking up the running from Cashback, who led out over the first four, then Merlin Giant. Zadak the Brave on the outside of Vicara Len, and then Amir Kabir, my mate Mozzie next with Filey Bay and Bialystok, and Jesse Evans has picked up a bit of ground. Next on the outside is Gatsby Gray, who's lost a number of placings, and then Captain Conby and Tudor City. They're at the end of a circuit, and they continue well-spaced as Mighty Tom leads with five furlongs to go. They have a good run to the second last flight, tailing off as Prairie Dancer. It's Mighty Tom at the top of the hill, closed upon by Cashback and Madeline Giant, poised in third. Ikara Lenz, Zadak the Brave, my mate Mozzie next with Amir Kabir nudged along, then Jesse Evans and Filey Bay and Bialystok next. Captain Conby's improved on the outside as they come down towards the second last. The leading group is stacking up. It's Mighty Tom in front, followed by Cashback. Right in behind them is Ikara Len, then Merlin Giant, closing as Zadak the Brave, Amir Kabir pushed along, then my mate Mozzie, Jesse Evans is coming into it, followed by Party Central and Bialystok, pushed along as Filey Bay, then Tudor City, Captain Conby, Lucky Max, they run the home turn, one flight left to jump in the Guinness Galway hurdle, and Zadak the Brave comes to pick it up from Mighty Tom, Ikara Len, Jesse Evans round the outside of my mate Mozzie, they face the final flight, Zadak the Brave has chased away Away from the last by Jesse Evans, my mate Mozzie in between them. It's these three covered by two legs, 100 yards to go. Zadok the Brave, my mate Mozzie, Jesse Evans on the stand side. Zadok the Brave has done it for the four year olds. From Jesse Evans, my mate Mozzie, a carnal in. Filey Bay, Mighty Tom, and Bialystok next. Second Galway hurl for Paul Town in 15 years on a course of winning, riding the winner for John Kiley. Well done today. Thanks very much, Fran. Um, he was he was tough for me from the back of the last. I let him slide on into the dip, and when I landed at the back of the last, the winning post seemed a long way away. So uh, he, he he dug me out of a hole halfway up the runner. Were you worried uh, going into the race with the stats about four olds in this race? A little, but um, I suppose not many when you go through it had run in at the level of him they're usually put away for the winter so it was something different from the the Sutton team but um, you know he missed the middle of last season uh, came back with a good run in Punchestown and a, a good run in Otoy so um, you know he's a classy individual in his own right. Great performance, talk us through the race. I got a, a Galway hurdle you need everything to go right for you and it did today mm. um, you know I got away well um, when Dennis went on kept the pace up and you know even that I He's had a few runs. He he hasn't isn't the most experienced horse in the race, so um, 
a good even gallop, just just meant we was able to get in the rhythm and, and it wasn't stop starting messy. I mean, you committed going to front, you got a great jump at the last, but Jesse Evans and the eventual third all range down outside you. They felt they were coming at me fast. <laughs> um, they felt they were coming at me faster than the winning post was coming at me, but when I got it into my right and gave him a, a smack, he, he put down his head and, and went for me as well. So, you know, maybe there's there's a little bit there as well. Yeah, because on a side-on shot, it looked like you were giant, if not headed at one point. Yeah, it felt it felt that way. Now, I wasn't looking across with the head down, but um, no, we, we definitely had a battle on our hands. But when I got back in front, you know, I was always holding on then. Was there ever any doubt in your head you're going to ride this horse and go over hurl when the entries came out? Yeah, loads. Yeah, okay. and even when you pick them, so you're <laughs> second guessing it, and you know, but you have to commit to one. And you know, everyone everyone pulls this in in the one direction in the yard. So even if you're not riding them, work. We're, we're all working together, and if one doesn't win, hopefully something else will. And Paul, 15 years on, of course, you're only a kid when you won it on Indian pace with John Kiley. Different stage of your career, but equally as nice and probably more appreciative of winning the rest of this now. Definitely. I uh, didn't realise how hard it was to win it back then. I uh, thought the game was easy, and I figured out since it's a lot harder. <laughs> Listen, well done. Great scenes. Cheers. Thanks, Ryan. Great scenes here after the Guinness Gold Hurl. Zark to Brave booking the trend of a four-year-old winning here and doing it in really gritty style. Well done, Willie. Yes, uh, tremendous ride with Paul. And for a four-year-old, I mean, only one other in my lifetime, anyhow, for Gino you know, Diamond, I think it was, way back. Um, you know, Paul had him out, got a position, held his position throughout the race. When the pace went mad up the far side, he just took a little pull on him, uh, produced him going down to the second last, in position A the whole time, so uh, and that's that's hard to do in a race like the Galway Hurdle. I think the time was 3:38, which was, it was a fantastic time. I think um, you know very very fast carrying those weights. I mean, you'd often see horses doing that sort of time with maybe nine stone seven or eight on the back, but I think the bottom weight in this race was 10:13. Mm. So that in itself was huge, something you don't often get, but. Nowadays, with more prize money in the ground being looked after, better, classier horses are running uh, in the race, and it's giving it, you know, it's a much classier race now compared to what it used to be. When did you come up with the idea of running here? I thought after Punchestown, you know, you, you think, right, you go home from Punchestown, <laughs> what's next? <laughs> Galway. <laughs> well, we, we, we do ask it on the way, but, we, but uh, the big team stuff is here, you know, and you think, what for the Galway hurl, what for the Galway plate? and um, he was obviously in the bet, in the reckoning for the Galway hurdle. But then the horses have to stay right, and it's a decision for a horse like him. Normally, a horse like him would go out to grass for the summer, and we thought, no, there's a big prize in Galway. Let's have a crack. We might have a nice mark. And even though the stats were against us being a four-year-old, we thought he's probably a classy four-year-old because his run very early on the season was very good. He looked like a triumph hurdle horse. And then he got a colic and he needed surgery. And he'd come back from that. You know, and that that's a fair thing too. Very few horses come back from surgery, you know. A lot of guys put lines through horses when they do that. And of course uh, things didn't go to plan in our tie, but uh, he had a nice break since then. That's right, yeah. I mean um, yeah, he, yeah, I mean, we, he didn't have a breakout in grass. We brought him home, just give him a little easy time, but then we got him ready, you know, it was all about getting him ready for Galway. So. And they jumped at last, I thought it was in the bag, but he had to be brave and gritty to hold yeah, on. I thought we were beaten. I feel sorry for Noel Mead and connections of Jesse Evans. You know, uh, if I was going to be beaten by someone, uh, you know, I was sitting near Noel in the stand. I think that horse was second and third the last two years, you know. Looked like he was going to win. I thought he'd beaten us. Paul said when he gathered our fellow up and hit him one little smack, he just pulled together and was pulling away again at the end. So that shows that he had that little bit left in the tank. Where do we, where do we go from here with him? Got to have, we've got to look at him now as a champion hurdle contender, I think. Um, the, the Morgiana is there in Punchestown. There's a ra I think the Fishery Lane is there in Nace. That's for four-year-olds only. Maybe that's the race to go for less prize money. But if I, I'll be aiming for the Morgiana and we'll see what happens. And uh, on your thinking now going forward next year, you'll be looking at four-year-olds for this race potentially again? Say that again. Will you be looking for four-year-olds running this, this race, race again? again. Um, not particularly now. No, I hope my four-year-olds will have the <laughs> Triumph Hurl one, the, the French equivalent. And, uh, I won't be looking to handicap one for it, if, but like this year, if one just happens, you know the way horses get injured and their season gets thrown back, and that's what happened to this fellow. But um, 
hopefully we'll have something for this race again next year. And Willie, you, you've had great success in this race in recent years, but it's a historic race, great prize money to win it again. It's an iconic race, and my father used to love coming to Galway, and he was very lucky in the race too. And everyone loves, you know, the Galway hurdle, the Galway hurdle. Uh, so we, we'll plan a team, you know, from about Christmas on, we'll be planning a team for the next year's Galway hurdle to see and see how it turns out. Well done again. Thank you very much. Cheers. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.